Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are going to learn how to use sets in Python. So first of all, what are sets? So a set is an unordered collection with no duplicate elements and no indexing. So let's see how we can use sets in Python. So you can declare a variable and then is equal to and you define the elements in set in a curly bracket. So you can define multiple values here, for example, 1, 2, 5, 4, 7, 9. But keep in mind that set cannot have duplicate values. So each value in set must be a unique value. So for example, what happens when we define a set with some duplicate values? So I'm going to just uh, declare this set and press enter here and this set is created. Now whenever I try to access the values inside the set A, then it's going to give me this set. And you can see the two, which was a duplicate, which we have defined here is removed from this set. So a set always have unique values. And if you define a set with duplicate values, it's going to remove the duplicate values and only save the unique values in the set. So let's see some of the methods related to sets. And the first method is as always len method. And you can find the length of a set using this len method and the name of the set, which returns the length of a set. You can also use a add function. So a dot add to add a element in a set. So I want to add 10, for example, into my set. I can use this and then press enter. And once again, when I try to get the values inside the set A, you can see 10 is added to this set. But this 10 will only be added if it's already not there in the set. If it's already there in the set, nothing will happen. So let's try to add once again 10 to this set, which already have a set. And once again, you will see that nothing happens inside the set because 10 was already there. Now, if you want to add multiple values in a set, you can use a update method. So you can call this method, which is update. And then inside the curly brackets, you need to provide these multiple values. So let's add some values into the set. So I'm going to add 15, 18, 17, let's say, and 14. Okay, and then press enter. And now I will see the values inside the set. And you can see all these values are added to the set. You can also remove the values from the set. So I can use a method called uh, remove. And let's say I want to remove uh, 18 from the set. I can just give the element and then press enter. And once again, I will try to access the set. And you can see 18 is removed from this set. Now there is a method called uh, discard also. So let's see how we can use this method. Discard works similar to remove method. So for example, I want to remove this 17 from my set. I can write 17 here and it works fine, right? So when I try to access the value of a 17 is removed. So what is the difference between a discard method and a remove method? So a remove method, whenever you use a remove method and you try to remove an element which is not there in the set, for example, I will try to remove 100 which is not there in the set, it's going to throw an exception and it says key error 100. Now, if you try to do the same thing using a discard method, so I'm going to use a dot uh, discard here and try to discard 100 from the set, which is not there in the set, it's not going to give me any error. And that's the difference between discard and remove. So remove throws an error when an element is not there, but discard doesn't throw any error. It's not going to do anything if the value is not there in the set. Now there is a pop method also you can use with uh, set. So I'm, I can use this pop method and then press enter. And what it's going to do is 
it's going to remove any random element from your set so it's not necessary that it's going to remove the element from the left hand side or the right hand side it will remove any random element from the set also for example i will declare a set of names let's say and if you want to clear the set you can use a clear method so i can use this clear method in order to empty this set so now when i try to access the values inside the set you can see it's an empty set with no values if you want to delete a set you can use a del function and then the name of your set and then press enter and once you delete it when you try to access it it's going to give you an error that name is not defined now you can also create a set using a set constructor so instead of these curly brackets you can uh, write set and in the double parenthesis so you need to provide the double parenthesis here in order to create a set using the set constructor so this is also going to create this set called name and when i try to access the values inside the set name you can see it has created this set of names also you can convert a list into a set so let me uh, define a variable called z and then i can use a set constructor and inside these parentheses i can use the square brackets which we use generally with lists and then you can define your list here and then press enter and this list will be converted to a set and you can see the result here now similar to the mathematical set operations like union intersection difference symmetric difference you can also use these mathematical operations related to set on the python sets also so let's see how we can use this mathematical set operations on our python sets so let me once again define a set i have already one set which is a which contains uh, these values for example and i will define a set b with some other set of values so i'm going to define a set with for example so that is the content of the set b okay so now i have two sets and on these two sets i want to perform some set operations which are also used in mathematics so you can find out the union of two sets using a operator called or okay so when i write a and this pipe symbol which is called or b it's going to give me the union of these two sets and what is the union so union of two sets contain all the elements that are there in the set a or in the set b so or here is important right so i'm going to press enter and you can see it's going to give me the union of a and b that means this set contains all the elements that are there in set a or in set b also i can use a method called union instead of this or operator so i can use a variable dot union there is a method called union and then you can write b here and then press enter which is going to give you the same answer okay so you can either use this union method or this or operator now let's see how we can find out the intersection between two sets so in order to find out the intersection you use a and this operator end and then your next set which is b here so what is an intersection of two sets so intersection of two sets contains all the element that are there in both the set that means set a and set b okay so when i press enter you can see it gives me two elements inside the set and these two elements are there both in the a set and the b set that's why we get only two values because these two values are there in set a and set b also again you can use a method called intersection so a intersection and then b which is going to give me the same answer so either you can use this method or you can use this operator 
Now let's find out the difference between two sets. So what is a difference between two sets? A difference of two sets contains all the elements that are in A but not in B. Okay. So you can find out the difference by this minus operator here. So when you write A minus B, you will be able to get the difference between these two sets. And this result will contain all the elements that are in A but not in B. You can also use B minus A and then it's going to give you other result because this time it's going to give you a set which contains all the elements that are there in B and not in A. So difference between set A minus B is totally different from B minus A. And also you can use a difference method. So A, then you can call a difference method B and it's going to give you the same kind of answer you can see here. And also you can call B dot difference A and it's going to give you the another answer of B minus A. Now you can also find out the symmetric difference between two sets. And what is the symmetric difference between two sets? A symmetric difference between two sets contains all the elements that are either in set A but not in set B or they are there in set B but not in set A. So this is the symmetric difference and you can find out the symmetric difference using this cap symbol and then B. So A cap B, I don't know what is the exact name of this symbol. You can find out by yourself and when you do this, it's going to give you the symmetric difference between A and B. And whenever you find out the symmetric difference, then when you do, for example, B, this cap symbol A, it's going to give you the same answer because symmetric difference give you same answer. Whether you give A cap B or B cap A, the answer will be always same. Also, you can use a method symmetric difference. So you can uh, use this uh, method called symmetric difference B and it's going to give you the same kind of result. Now, one last thing I want to show here is sets are not indexed or ordered. So whenever you want to find out, for example, A and the value at index zero, it's going to give you an error because there are no indexes in a set and they are not ordered by any index. So sets are unordered collection of values. Now, if you want to find out what all other methods you can use with sets, you can create a set and then write the name of your set and then press dot here and you will be able to see this is the list of all the methods which you can use with the sets. Also, if you want to list out all the methods which you can use with sets, you can use this inbuilt function dir and then you can uh, provide any set name here which is your variable name and then press enter and once again it's going to print the list of all the method which you can use with the sets. So this is how you can use sets in Python. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.